For the first time in 61 years, a new Aston Martin Formula One car has been unveiled to the world and with it, Racing Point's transition to the identity of the British mark is complete, and it looks utterly sublime. But as much as we'd love to go into a rundown of stickers and hosiery, you're here for the technical side of launch season Spot the Difference play. And while on the face of it, the AMR21 is a carryover of the famed Mercedes facsimile, the RP20, there are some key and crucial differences. Also not wishing to indulge in this year's hide the floor competition, Aston Martin has given us our clearest indicator yet of the effect of 2021's revised rules. The front end is altogether familiar, with the AMR21 retaining many of the RP20's key features in its similarity to the Mercedes nose concept. While it also continues the use of the spoon-shaped collection of wing flaps, it does also feature a scalloped upper element, a design the team implemented in the latter stages of 2020. The front brake ducts also remain in much the same specification as last year, although it's somewhat hard to make those out at the rear at this current time. Most of the key differences lie in the packaging around the rear half of the car, and the team has ditched the more conventional side pod inlets to fall in line with the rest of the field. Now these inlets have been raised, and the side-on crash structure has been lowered to accommodate this. Doing so gives the air entering the radiators a cleaner line of fire, improving the cooling properties and allowing the inlet to be smaller as the mass flow rate of air increases. Aston Martin's development tokens were presumably spent on the front of the survival cell and its associated crash structures to enact that change. Now below that, the barge boards have been given plenty of attention too. There's a few more additions, the twin boomerang arrangement remains, but the fins among the top side have been broken up a little more to help pull airflow downwards and around the lower reaches of the side pod. The outboard element that the boomerangs clip onto has also been broken up, with two smaller vanes preceding the array of elements attached to the side pod's crash structure. All of these have had to be modified to satisfy the new side pod arrangement. Partway through 2020, Racing Point introduced new side pods with a distinct ramp arrangement to send airflow downwards towards the floor. With less floor space available, the ramp has been incorporated more neatly into the top surface of the side pods, reducing a much rounder shape in line with the designs Mercedes has employed over the past couple of seasons. The front of the floor which interacts with the bargeboard elements has a lot more added furniture. It appears that the prevailing concept in 2021 is to do the work that the eliminated floor slots were employed to do much earlier, providing a barrier of defence for the floor's underside and diffuser. The floor squares off after the curled lip around the middle of the floor's edge, perhaps to improve the expansion of the air in this area and recoup some of the losses over the off-season. There's also a trio of fins behind this to help turn the airflow outwards. But it's at the rear corner where a collection of small upright fins have sprouted. This looks on first glance to be an aggressive attempt at shoving airflow outwards around the rear tyre, although it's admittedly difficult to make out the fins firing direction from the images available. Like the Mercedes W12 launched on Tuesday, there's also a bulge in the engine cover in deference to the new powertrain arrangement developed by the German Mark's High Performance Powertrains division. The exhaust pipe and the twin wastegate pipes seem to be in the same specification as last year, while the rear wing is portrayed in largely the same higher downforce arrangement that Racing Point used in 2020. Furthermore, the rear wing end plates are those that Racing Point introduced partway through 2022, with the connected overhanging slots and upwards firing vortex generators. So, with the same overall concept as last season, Aston Martin may end up facing the pejorative green Mercedes label throughout 2021, but the team appears to have understood the nuances of a Mercedes-style layout and worked its own developments into it with success. The team will hope to continue that success, and with a four-time champion now on board, all eyes will be on the lean, mean, green machine over the coming season. <laughs>